Hello everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Plum Paper Monthly Planner, which is the one that I use in my weekly check-ins. Um, so here is the website. It's www.plumpaper.com. This is the homepage. This is what the website should look at if you guys um, search it up. So you have to click on Planners. And we're going to go to fully customized planners and that's going to give you the options of the sizes that they have. They have a um, A5, a 7x9, and an 8.5 times 11. I have the 7x9 planner because I feel like the A5 would be too small for me and then the 8.5 by 11 would be too big for me. So the 7x9, I think it's a perfect size. So I would go to explore layouts and we want the monthly layout. Um, that is the one that I have and I have the tabbed one. You can choose not to get the tabbed one, but I do like the tab. So I will go ahead and click on order now. Then you have to customize your planner. So I have the synthetic with clear cover. Um, this one would not have the clear cover. This one has a clear cover and then this is a card hard cover that costs $10 more. I like it with the clear cover just so the synthetic doesn't get scratched. If I do scratch it, it scratches a clear cover. That is why I get that one. Um, there's a bunch of designs to pick from. So right here you can choose by category or you could just scroll down. And then, you know, you can click on teacher now, students, florals. Um, Let's see, I'm just going to pick this one right here. So let's see, this is the one that I want. Um, this is step one. So if you, whenever you choose the design that you want, you're going to go ahead and click on next. Right here, you are going to choose if you want to put anything on your planner. Um, so if you want to write anything on the center of the cover, the bottom of the cover, you can do both. You can add the year as well. Um, so anything like that. So let's see, the center of the cover, I could put, um, Maria's budgeting. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that's a typo. And then if I want to do the bottom of the cover, um, I could put, um, 2023 budget planner. Let's say this is what I want. Um, you can add something, you can leave it blank, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can also remove it, so you could put none, and then center of cover, you can also put none. So you can get uh, the planner cover just like this, but just for the sake of the video, I am going to leave it like that in the bottom of, the co bottom of cover. I'm going to leave it like that as my um, customization for the planner. Um, you can also change the um, the colors, so we're going to do that one, and then for the center, we're going to do the same thing. So you can also change the shapes, um, so whatever you guys would like. You can also change the font, let's say that is the one that I like. So glam, so I can change the bottom of the cover to glam as well. So let's just say that is what I like. So. Um, if that's how I want it, that is step two completed, so we can click on next. Now this is what the planner is going to look like. If you guys see. I will tell you guys that for the month, um, the monthly, um, so you're going to have your calendar for the month, and then the next pages are going to be blank, so that is why I like it, because... I put my stickers and you don't have to put stickers down if you don't want to but um, I like the stickers so that is what I do um, right here let's see we are choosing I think right here we just have to click next because this is um, it's just asking about the layout which we already chose at the beginning we have the 7 by 9 tab monthly no weekly layouts including so that what that means is that you don't have any layouts so it's just going to be blank um, lined pieces of paper after the calendar hopefully that makes sense um, if not you guys can go back to my weekly check-ins you guys can see that I have my own monthly um, stickers because 
those are just lined pieces of paper after the calendar view. So we're going to click on next and right here we are going to choose which color we want for the tabs. So they have a modern which looks like this, we have the colorful which looks like this, and then we have a neutral. So right here you guys can choose which color scheme you guys want for your monthly tabs. Currently I have the, the colorful but I really do enjoy the modern as well. So let's just do colorful since that's what I have right now. Right here you get to choose um, when you want your calendar to start. So right here we have on the picture for the calendar we have that it starts on Sunday but you can also change it to Monday. Um, I like Sunday but you guys have the option of choosing Monday or Sunday. Right here you get to um, choose when you want it to start. So we obviously are in the year 2023 and then you can start it for January. Or if you don't want to, you know, March is approaching, so you can choose March. So you, right here you get to choose when you want the, your monthly planner to start. And you can also choose um, the how many months you want it. You can either, you can add from 12 all the way to 18 for an extra charge. So we, for 13 months to 18 months, you have an extra charge if you want to add another month to the planner but I honestly suggest just a 12 month planner because if not it gets really thick especially if you're going to use um, stickers on your planner it's going to get thicker because of those um, stickers that you're going to add every month. Right here you can add the holidays and special dates. I choose to do no holidays since this is a budgeting planner it's not for my daily um, like my daily to-do list or anything like that it's just a, a budget planner so that is why I choose no holidays. So step number five out of seven is complete. So we're going to choose next. Right here you get to choose the disc punch not bounded or punched. So it's just the loose pages, the gold coil, or the silver, silver coil binding. I do the silver coil binding especially because it's free and I don't have, I don't need a disc punch because I don't have anything to put it in and I don't want loose pages and I don't want to pay extra for the gold coil. So step six out of seven is complete and right here it's letting me know um, the shipping date, like approximately when they're going to ship it, especially because this is um, a planner that you create, so you know they need time to create it. So we're going to click on next, and right here it's letting me know um, all about my planner. So the planner is going to be $40, I have the tab monthly, I have the colorful um, color scheme February 2023 to January 2024 and I want the silver metal coil binding so right there it's letting me um, it's letting me know everything about my my planner and here you can add these things but again this is a budgeting planner so I don't um, add any of that so we are going to skip that and go to next right here you um, again, check everything and whenever it is finalized and you have to approve um, approve your your uh, planner, then you go ahead and approve and you can add to cart. Before approving, just make sure that everything is correct. Um, you can also edit. Let me go to cart, see if you can still edit. Um, edit item. So if you wanted to edit um, let's see, I don't know, add-ons, we don't want anything, binder, let's see if we can edit, what can we edit here, that, um, right here, we can edit the layouts, but we don't want to change that, and then the colorful scheme, so I guess, um, you can't really edit the, um, the typing, like the cover of the page, but you can edit other things, so we're just going to click next on everything, if everything looks good, Oops. Next. And again, before we proceed, we have to approve and save to cart. And right here, when you go to cart, you, um, oh, right here is the, um, the cover customization. So right here, you can double check that everything looks good. And right here is the layout specifications. So here's the text, the alignment, the color, the shape, the font. And again, um, this is for the center and this is for the bottom. 
And then right here we have the layout specification. So you guys can go ahead and check that everything looks good. And at this point, if everything looks good, you can go ahead and click ready to check out and you can go ahead and check out. So I really hope that this video was not confusing and I hope that it helps everyone. I know I have gotten a lot of comments lately asking for a tutorial since I, you know, you have to really customize. So I had it on the description that it was a monthly planner, but I know that it's very confusing as well. So I hope that this video really helps you guys um, get your hands on the plum paper monthly planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.